Hello friends, welcome back to lmsdaily.com. In today's video, we will see about a Moodle plugin which will make you capable to restrict any section based on the student's enrollment method. The plugin as you can see on the screen is named as restriction by enrollment method and you can use this to restrict specific activities or resources or even the course sections in your Moodle course to specific students who are coming from specific enrollment method or who do not belong to any specific enrollment method. So let us see how you can use this plugin in your Moodle course. You can download this plugin from the uh, link which is mentioned in the description and once you download this plugin you need to install it on your Moodle site. So, so after installing you can directly use this plugin on your Moodle courses. So first let me check if it is enabled on the site wide restriction plugins. So as you can see that restriction by enrollment method is enabled on my site. So now I will go to any course here and now we need to turn editing on. Now with this editing mode on you need to just click on the three dots here and click on edit section. And on this page, you need to expand this restrict access and click on add restriction here. Now here you will see a new button named as enrollment method. So just click on this one and choose the enrollment method. As of now, I have only the manual enrollments method enabled for this course. So I am seeing only the manual enrollment methods here. But if you have other enrollment methods also enabled, then you will see them here. So what I need to mention is that the enrollment method has to be manual. The student must match the following. So if the student is coming from a manual enrollment method, then only he will be able to access this section. Or if I would like to make the inverse, so I have to change this must to must not. So if the student is coming from manual enrollment method, then he will not be able to see this specific section. And once you are done with these configurations, then just click on the save changes button. And as you can see that it is not available unless you do not belong to manual enrollment methods. So this is how you can use this specific enrollment method to restrict the course sections as well as the course activity and resources for specific enrollment methods. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as press the bell icon. Thank you very much for watching.